exactly a year ago today was when Lagos was hit with the aftermath of the NSAS protest. Exactly a year ago, today being the 21st of October 2021, was when Lagos had massive, massive destruction of infrastructure, iconic buildings, our transport sector, and almost every part, police stations and all of it. And I feel that there is no better time, but even today being the one year of that event, to say how difficult it's been for us as a state, to say how moving it's been for us as a government, but to also say that how committed it has given us to say that as tough as those times were, as tough as they are still today, that the government will certainly not shy away from its responsibility, that will take it up, will see it as a challenge, and will face it with everything that we have. It's also important to mention that yesterday, we also saw a bit of protest in Lagos, and I want to inform the gentlemen of the press that everybody that was arrested by the police for one reason or the other have all been released, except an individual that was caught with dangerous weapon. Um, he had cutlasses, he had charms and all sorts, and he did confess to the police that he was there to cause mayhem. And it's important for us to know that's why we need to continue to work with the police. If they hadn't caught this fellow, we might not be able to quantify what his intentions are or what his other collaborators who might have escaped would have been.